Shaq in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania writes to me and says, Paul, I am a casual consumer of music. So a lot of the lingo and terminology that oozes out of your mouth completely goes over my head. <laughs> I love it. Oozing out of my mouth. My question is, how do I build my very own DSD audio experience at home, or has anybody put together a DSD starter kit for dummies? With all the necessary tools and equipment I need to set up a great DSD audio experience at minimal cost, it seems that one has to be versed in audio engineering and sound technology to create the magic of DSD at home from options and products available. I'm quite overwhelmed about where to start creating my own DSD audio experience as a complete newbie. Well, Shaq, good job, because that's a good place to start. And it's always kind of fun to do something new like that. And uh, let me first say that Octave Records, as you know, does everything. We record everything in DSD because it's a much better medium to record in. Once you capture the original recording in DSD, we can effectively convert that to PCM without a whole lot of loss. Almost, to most people's ears, almost zero. The trick to it is recording it in DSD in the first place. I, I, I did a, and I'll get to his question, I know, Paul's deviated off and he's talking about his pet project, yes, I know, because I'm very passionate about it, thank you very much. But I used an analogy that came from Ivor Tiefenbrunn, who was the founder of Lynn, well, still is the founder of Lynn. And one of the things Ivor said that always stuck with me had to do with phono cartridges and turntables. And what he said was basically, if the turntable and the cartridge aren't good enough to get what information is on the disc off the disc, then no matter what you do afterwards, no matter how good your speakers are, no matter how great your electronics, if you can't get the information accurately off the disc, then the rest of it doesn't matter. And while I will argue with him about the importance of turntables versus speakers, what he said is absolutely correct. If you can't get the information off the microphone or the disc or the tape head, whatever it is, then anything else you do is kind of like putting lipstick on a pig. I mean, it just it doesn't matter. So that's one of the reasons I'm very passionate about not recording in PCM, because it's an inferior medium to DSD for capturing the original output of the microphones. That's why at Octave Records we are so careful to always do that. And once you have it, then you can take it and do great things. Now, the reason I brought all that up for our friend here, uh, Shaq, is because while DSD is very cool and fun, you don't need DSD to have that experience. As long as what was originally recorded was recorded in DSD, you can then enjoy it in, in PCM. Now, specifically to your question, the easiest way to take a DSD file is, and that's kind of the easiest way for you to do it, is to download DSD files. Because otherwise, you're going to have to figure out a way to get it off of an SACD, which really is about the only other way. Um, and so the easiest way, download a DSD file, put it onto your laptop or your computer, and then there are a number of programs, Audirvana, um, what else is out there? Oh gosh, there's a bunch of pro Rune, Oh, uh, Rune's kind of expensive, but it's great. Um, what other? Autorvana, Rune, oh, Fubar, which is a free program, uh, J River. There's a number of programs, uh, uh, BitPerfect, if you have a Mac. There's a number of programs out there that will convert DSD to what we call DOP, which stands for DSD over PCM. Now it doesn't, and, and I hate using the word convert because 
that suggests it's taking it from one form to another. And people go, ah, I, I want pure DSD. So DOP is pure DSD. All that happens is we take, DSD is a continuous stream of ones and zeros, okay? Unlike PCM, which is chopped up and broken into what we call words. So specific length words, has a little header on it, tells the computer, hey, this is what I am, here's where I want to go. And the computer says, gotcha, and sends that word over to where it needs to go. DSD doesn't have words, doesn't have headers. Not, the computer looks at that and go, I don't know, to do, this is just noise as far as I'm concerned. So what we do is we take little chunks of the DSD and we pop it into a little PCM envelope, if you will, and send it out like the mail. Now, the raw, pure DSD is inside of this little PCM word, un, unscathed. It's perfect. It's just, you know, if there's a long thing, we take this chunk, that chunk, that chunk, and we break them up, put them into little words. Now the computer says, oh, I know what to do with that. I'm going to send it over here to that DAC. Just get a DAC, and there's almost every DAC today, from some of the lowest cost to some of the highest cost, will we'll handle DOP. So just look that up in the specs. D, small, uh, capital D, small O, uh, capital P. DSD over PCM. And the DAC takes it and goes, oh, throws out the little headers, reconnects all the DSD together, and bingo, you're listening to it. So all you need is a computer, which you obviously had because you emailed me. <laughs> well, maybe you did it from a phone. Okay. And that's the best, easiest way to get into DSD. So long ramble. Hope that helps our understanding of things. And good luck with that.